Okay, in this video we're going to do an example again related to vector addition and scalar multiplication. We're also going to talk about sketching some vectors, the uh, sum of vectors. So we've got vector v that has components 1, 3, 2, negative 5. We're going to sketch the vector v plus w. And we'll also find the components of that vector. So when you sketch uh, the addition of vectors, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is sketch vector v. So it has components of 1 and 3. So just from the origin, I'm going to move 1 to the right and up 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be my vector v. Now, vector w, when we, when we sketch vectors, um, wherever the first one stops, I just stick the new one onto that. So vector w is going to start right here. But it says basically you move two units to the, uh, to the right, and then we go five units down. So I think we were already up here at, uh, up here at uh, you can think about this as being a y value of three. If we go down five units, we'll be down here at negative two. So if we go two units to the um, to the right and then five units down, so one, two, three, four, five, this would be my vector w. So again, there was vector v, there was vector w. Now what we do is, um, wherever our original vector started um, and wherever it stops, we connect those um, and that's going to be our vector v plus w. Okay, so it starts uh, at the origin, and in this case, it's kind of going. A th it looks like three units to the right, and then two units down is what it looks like to me. So, um, so to me, I'm thinking, well, just based on the graph, shouldn't the components be three comma negative two, uh, according to our little diagram? Well, let's actually find the components. Okay, so vector v is 1 and 3, uh, plus w, which is 2 and negative 5. Again, we just add respective components. So 1 plus 2, that's going to give us 3. 3 plus negative 5 is going to give us negative 2. And hey, so it says if you add them, the new vector will have components 3 comma negative 2. And that's in fact, it, you know, that's what happens from our, from our graph here. So Let's do one more here. Uh, got a little little runoff. Um, we're going to sketch vector 2v and also find its components. So, um, so vector v again. We said that had components 1 comma 3. So I'll sketch it down here. 1 comma 3. When you multiply a vector by a positive uh, a positive whole number, all it does is it stretches it out by that factor. So since we're multiplying by 2, you basically can stick another vector v at the end that would have components. Again, you would move over 1 and up 3. It's just going to stretch that original vector out by a factor of 2. So again, just kind of eyeballing this new vector, again, which we could call 2v. Uh, it looks like to me it has components. It looks like to me you're moving over 2 and up 6. So I'm thinking, well, this should have components of 2 comma 6. And again, if we just use our, our rule that says you just multiply, it says you would have 2 times vector v, which is 1 and 3. And if you distribute the 2, we will get 2 and 6 for the components of our new vector.